Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the Gnostic Sphere. It's been a while, but anyway, hey, here we go. I got a request. There's something I gotta do. You know what? I got a feeling down inside me. I just, you know what? I need to speak other languages other than English. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk first and foremost about one of the oldest things I know a little bit about which is the Egyptian. Alright, since I'm an initiate of the Fifth Way Mystery School and its foundations are based upon the way of the five the bodies so it was in Memphis so may it be today. Uh, there's five bodies. They are as we know the physical, the astral double, the unconscious, the archetypal realm, and the divine. And there is ways to do, and, 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 and I mean, different words to describe what I just said. Alright, so let's not split hairs, but here we go. The first one is the physical body, which is the Afu. In the mint fight tradition, when Egypt was ruled from Memphis rather than Cairo, uh, the physical body was called the Afu. These are in the temples of Sekhmet, Ptah, and Nefertem. So the physical body was the Afu. And then there was that uh, body that resides between the biochemical realm and the central nervous system, known as the Ka. And in, uh, you know, the last 100, 150 years, it's been called the etheric plane or the astral double. The fact of the matter is the astral plane has an upper and a lower, as is known in Tibet. But uh, the... Uh, the desert fathers of uh, Judaism and Kabbalah saw it as one, as far as we know. A few of them got, got, got the point that there was a duel, which was known as the solar and lunar. However, the Tibetans have a, a lot more understanding about the lower spheres. Uh, and the, the whole eastern side of evolution you know, they were doing their thing while I would do, we were doing our thing. I mean, until Marco Polo would even know each other existed. And, and we had existed, both of us, for quite a long time before that meeting. And we're just now, you know, a few pages or a chapter or two, you know, a few chapters ahead of the game. But still, the East and West is just really now beginning to integrate at a really good level, such as the left and right hemispheres, the upper and the lower, thus the dual nature of the solar and the lunar, as above, so below, as within, so without. So, in Egypt, in the Memphite realm, we call this, you know, the, the unconscious realm, where the collective conscious dwelt and manifested. And when you slept, it, it went in through your personal mind and then into your body. But you weren't quite hooked up to the eternal realms yet. And so we call this the Hadit, or the Hadit. Hadit. I like to say Hadit, but I never heard anybody else say that, so Hadit. H-A-D-I-T. Hadit. And that's a transliteration. Because few know the real way to pronounce ancient comedic. And if you say you do, well, that right there is the first strike against you, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so then, after this, the third body, the collective unconscious, the thing in between, you know, that's where you got to go through. That's the tunnel, you know, when you go up through the chemical cascade rush of death, and you're rising through that tunnel, you're going through the Hadith, up into what? The higher astral. ba -ching! Ah, the realm above, where you are eternal, where mind cannot be destroyed, where we get the inclinations, little the afu, you know, the the DNA, 
the 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 you know the personal personality double entendre uh, in the uh, ka they have you know and, and there's people with, with with healthy afus and smart cause and they think oh I know everything and we call them geniuses and let them teach our children but this is why we have mystery schools ladies and gentlemen because there's certain of us that know that is but the tip of the iceberg when you're connected to the next level or the next body it's called the coup and the coup when you fully integrate it you might as well be Jesus fucking Christ cuz that's what that hap that's what happens you can like m turn three pieces of fish and five loaves of bread into a shitload of food to feed everybody you're the sun you create light emits from you life giving warmth comes from you you understand this you're so up at heart in charge of the game you're not worried if mercury or somebody else's personality squeezes by whatever you're the director of the show but because you're an ego and you have a ka and a hot it and an afu you channel that down through a personal perspective it's like one facet of a diamond and the rest of the diamond facet is the human race. So that's what we call the Ku. And above that, well, is the Sahu, which means life. Life force. We could transliterate it all kind of different directions. The point of the matter is that is the level that feeds the Christ level. It is above the abyss and I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to pronounce it. All right, so we got the way of the five bodies, and the five bodies are the Afu, the Ka, the Ku, the Hadit, and the Sahu. And then in the soul, you have the, the breath in and the breath out, but it's more of a flow. It's more of a, it's not a body, it's a dynamic. It's a wave of flow, like in and out, negative pressure, positive pressure. We call that the sa, the breath in, and the ba, the breath out. All right, now I'm going to turn and switch to Hebrew, and we're going to go through the tree of life and a bunch of different things. All right, we got, all right, we have the ain, the ain sof, and the ain sof or. Those are the three negative levels of existence. And then we have manifestation beyond zero. We have one, which is Keter, or the crown. We have two, which is Chokmah. We have or understanding. We have three, which is Binah, which is wisdom. And then we cross the abyss and go to the fourth, number four, which is Chokmah. We have number five, which is Gebura, or strength. And by the way, Hokhama was mercy. Hokhama is, uh, or I mean, yeah, yeah, that. And then Gebura, number five, which is strength. Then we have number six, which is Tifereth, or Tifaret. Tifaret. Beauty. That's the center of the tree. Then we descend again into another world, and we have Netzach, which is victory, or the Greeks called Nike. And if you were a guy going to create uh, sports shoes, and sports is why you would wear these shoes when you're playing sports, you want to be, what, victorious. So you would wear a shoe that had an emblem as victory, I'm the winner. Well, that word in Greek is Nike. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. And then we got net sock. So that's the same thing. Net sock, Nike, victory, same thing. All right, then we shoot over to the realm of Mercury, which is still in the...
level of the car. We have what? We have uh, Hode. The realm of Mercury. The realm of the mind. Or, uh, well, not the mind, but uh, logic. Beyond Hode, we have Yesod, which is the foundation. Oh, and Hode, by the way, meant splendor. Splendor, the splendor of the mind. Its magical image is the 8x8 grid of a chess game. And you know how much logic and thinking that can occur with chess. I mean, it's, it was invented in the Middle Ages, and here we are, four or five hundred years later, still playing it. So, and, and very much so. It's it's a good thing, and that that pretty much, if you can grok or understand chess, then you understand the realm of Hode or Gebura. I mean, gosh, not Gebura, Hode or Splendor. And then it, we go precipitate down into Yisod, which is the realm of the moon and, 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 and the foundation, which truly is uh, the astral plane. The, the, the sphere of Yisod, what I'm talking about is, um, earlier when I was talking about the difference between the eastern and western interpretations of the astral, whether, you know, some of us call it astral and others the uh, ethereal, or the etheric and the astral. Well, here's where we got the sun, the moon, the lower, and the astral. What the Egyptians called the upper and lower duat. This is all within the realm of the moon. And the Hebrews just labeled it one thing. Uh, the Tibetans labeled it two things, as did the Egyptians. But nonetheless, there's reasons to look at both and then integrate them. So that's why I'm giving you both, all right? The upper and lower duat, also known as the bardo, the 11 pillars of the duat. But for Kabbalistic purposes, it is known as one sphere, which is Yisod, all right? And then it pre precipitates down into the sphere of Malkut, which is the kingdom. The kingdom is the physical plane. It is the realm of biochemistry. It is where mind of a lower nature grafts onto molecular biology to express itself and have its being and perpetuate itself down here. All right? So that's that. And uh, I'm at 13 minutes. And uh, I hope I helped you out there. And in review, Afu, Ka, Hadit, Ku, Sahu, Sa, Ba. All right, Agape, have a good day.